Welcome to Samuel's Weimer Theological Seminary. We're looking at the book The Messenger of the Cross by Watchman Nee. The message of the cross has, has deeply influenced Paul. His life is clearly a manifestation of the life of the cross. He not only preaches the cross, he lives it. The cross he proclaims is that which he has lived daily, so that when he speaks of the cross, he is able to add to his preaching his own experience and testimony. He knows the substitutionary death of Christ on the one hand, and on the other hand he takes the cross of the Lord Jesus as his own cross experientially. He can declare at one moment I have been crucified with Christ, Galatians 2.20, and at the same time can declare this, Far be it for me to glory save in the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom which the world has been crucified unto me, and I unto the world, Galatians 6.14. His gentleness, patience, Weakness, tears, sufferings and chains, all of these express the life of the cross. Because he lives the cross, he is fit to preach it. Because peop often, people often say so and can talk, but cannot walk. Who knows but what in, actually, what in actuality he who does not walk cannot talk. Since Paul lives out the gospel in his life, he is able to beget many spiritual children by the gospel. Having the life of the cross, he can... Re reproduce the cross in the hearts of others. In J 2 Corinthians chapter 4, co we come to know the inner experience of this servant of the Lord. The secret to Paul's work is found in his fragment, So then death worketh in us but life in you. He died daily. He allowed the death of the cross to work deeply in him, so that others might have life. Whoever does not know the death of the cross does not have the life of the cross for other people. Paul was willing to be in the place of death that others might receive life through him. Only the one who dies can give life. But how, Lord, to die? What is the real meaning of this death? This death is more than, de is more than death to sin, to self and to the world. It is deeper than all these. This death is the spirit which our Lord Jesus exhibited when he was crucified on the cross. He does not die for his own sins since he is not. Let us recognize, since he has not, let us recognize that his cross declares his holiness. He is Christ, crucified holy for the sake of others. Hence his death is due to his obedience to God's will. And such is the meaning of the death mentioned here. Thus we need to be delivered to death, not only for our own sake, that we may die to sin, self and the world, but also for the sake of obeying the Lord Jesus in enduring the hostility of sinners daily. Yes, we ought to let the death of the Lord so work in us that we may have real experience of dying to self and arrive at the state of holiness. But we should equally let the Holy Spirit do a deeper work in us by the cross so as to cause us to live in it, live it out. We must know the life of the cross as well as its death. Having the death of the cross, we die to sin and the old and endemic walk. But having the life of the cross, we daily live in the spirit of the cross. This means that in our everyday walk we exhibit the Lamb spirit of the Lord Jesus in suffering silently. Jesus, when he was reviled, reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not, but committed himself to him that judgeth righteously. 1 Peter 2, 23 this death, is a this death is a step deeper than the death to sin and self and the world. May the cross become our life, and may we become a living cross. May we magnify the cross in all things.